refraction of light or bending of light. There is a coin present in the tub. Move away the tub until you can't see the coin. Now coin does not appear. If we fill the tub with water, the coin comes back into view. How is it possible? It is due to refraction of light. When light travels from one medium to another, its direction changes at the interface of the two media. This phenomenon is called refraction. Refraction is a result of change in speed of light at the interface. Here, there are two media. One is air, another one is water. It is interface that separates the two media. When light ray travels from one medium to another medium, changes its direction. This phenomenon is called refraction of light. The point on interface where an incident ray strikes and refracted ray starts is called point of incidence. An imaginary line drawn perpendicular to the interface from point of incidence is called normal. The angle between the normal and the incident ray is called angle of incidence. It is denoted by angle I. The angle between the normal and the refracted ray is called angle of refraction. It is denoted by angle R. Refraction occurs when light travels from one medium to another. In these two media, one is rarer, another one is denser. The medium in which speed of light is more is called rarer medium. The medium in which speed of light is less is called denser medium. For example, if refraction occurs between air and water, air is rarer and water is denser medium. Why? Because speed of light in air is more than in water. If refraction occurs between water and glass, water is rarer and glass is denser medium. Why? Because speed of light in water is more than in glass. If Light ray enters from rarer medium to denser medium, then refracted ray bends towards the normal. Here also, light ray enters from rarer medium to denser medium. So, refracted ray bends towards the normal. If light ray enters from denser medium to rarer medium, then refracted ray bends away from the normal. Here also, light ray enters from denser medium to rarer medium. So, refracted ray bends away from the normal. Now, we are going to understand about tub and coin activity. In the first situation, the ray of light originating from the coin reaches the eye. So, the coin appears. In the second situation, due to move away the tub from the eye, the ray of light originating from the coin does not reach the eye. So, the coin does not appear. In the final situation, 
we fill the tub with water. So, the ray of light originating from the coin bends away from the normal and reaches the eye due to refraction. So, the coin appears. When we keep a pencil or an object in the water, it appears to be bent. It occurs due to the refraction. Okay children, study well, grow well, be a good citizen and proud to be an Indian. Thank you.